you know, if you eat the fish from this river, you will always want to be eating the fish from this river. If you eat the moose from this river, you will always want to be sure that there's moose on this river. But what I found was I had to really get smart to understand it both from the perspective of somebody who lives on this river and is directly impacted by it, and also from the perspective of what is best for Alaska. I mean, the fact that they want to build this this a, a dam the size of the Hoover, and it hasn't happened anywhere in the United States in over 40 years. I mean, it, it's just like, wait, aren't we tearing these things down now? So we need to make a decision in the state. What do we want to do? How do we want to get our future energy? Uh, will the oil and gas last forever? Do we want to have a legacy here? Do we want to get it? And I would like to see leaders that are really looking forward to the kinds of solutions that are going to give us a better position for next generations also. And I'm convinced that that is not by pulling off the shelf old technology with huge secondary negative impacts for watersheds, for ecosystems, for communities all across the lower 48. The story is about this salmon, okay? He like makes it up to the East Fork of the Susitna. And he's like, oh, ice, mmm. It's better than concrete where he'd go, oh, damn. <laughs>